10 best places to go in March March arrives around the world with all kinds of festivals. Choose from cherry blossoms, music, art, wine, the colorful Hindu celebration of Holi, and more, in this list of the best reasons to travel in March. One, Jaipur. March is great for celebrating your inner child. March 18th is the Hindu festival of Holi, when adherents celebrate the triumph of good over evil. Holi is marked by a tradition where people throw brightly colored powder or water over each other, like a rainbow shower. No wonder it's nicknamed the festival of colors. If you want to experience this firsthand, an ideal place is Jaipur the ultimate brightly colored backdrop. The pink city was painted so in the 1850s, using the color of hospitality to welcome a visit from a son of Queen Victoria, then Empress of India. Take an electric rickshaw tour led by one of the women from the non-profit Pink City Rickshaw Company to see the major sites like Hawa Mahal Palace or the Amrapali Museum which focuses on Indian craftsmanship, especially jewelry, Jaipur has been a gem-cutting hub for centuries. 2. Boise, Idaho. March is great for an indie alt to south by southwest. The name Boise derives from the woodland spotted here by a U.S. Army troop as they traipsed westward just before the Civil War. The cops indicated water, and their French guide called it Boise, or wooded. The name stuck, though if you want to sound like a local today, remember to call it Boy C, not Boy Z. It's fitting to visit, then, for Treeford, the 10th edition of its homegrown alternative to South by Southwest, an expression of the laid-back, smart vibe that defines the college town today. This year's festival runs from March 23rd to 27th, with a lineup that features more than 400 performers, including rock icon Kim Gordon of Sonic Youth. There are also tents known as forts for comedy, beer, skating, and even drag. Boise's cultural links with the Basque country add an unexpected accent to culture and food here. It is one of the largest expat clusters for Basques in the world. In the late 19th century, those settlers were drawn here to herd sheep when their non-Indo-European language made it harder for them to work in factories and other social settings in Europe. You'll see Basque touches on restaurant menus around town, such as chorizo offered as a side in almost any diner. 3. Argentina. March is great for Old school harvest festivals more than 1,500 wineries are spread over the three growing areas of the Mendoza region, Maipu Valley, Wuhan de Cuyo, and Yuko Valley, together accounting for more than two-thirds of the country's output. You'll be able to sample and experience them in a single place during La Fiesta Nacional de Vendimia, a festival dating back to the 17th century, that marks the beginning of the harvest season. In early March, alongside parties, dance displays, and special dinners in local restaurants, the city hosts La Bendición de los Frutos, where a priest publicly blesses the harvest, as well as Via de la Reinas, a parade where a beauty queen from each of the 17 districts in the region rides around town on a specially designed float. There's so much to cram in. Consider booking with a tour operator who can streamline logistics to maximize your time. 4. Netherlands. March is great for browsing art like a billionaire forget Art Basel. The Grande Dame of Art Shindigs is TFAP, which holds its 35th edition this March in Maastricht. It's far less showbizy than its Miami counterpart, and the focus is broader going beyond contemporary to art from any time in the past 7,000 years. The 10-day fair, call it Maastricht, which is how it's known among the Arderati, is noteworthy for its stringent admission criteria, with a 175-strong judging panel overseeing items for sale in an attempt to keep low-quality riffraff and full-on fakes off the show floor. The buyers here are an assortment of the world's richest, 
which also means that the 275 dealers at the show bring out their best pieces. It has a particular reputation for superb, often hitherto unseen old masters. Even if you can't stretch to splurging a few million on a portrait, browsing those booths is like the greatest hits of the world's finest museums. 5. Alaska. March is great for adventuring over hard to conquer terrain the Tordrillo Mountain Range, around 75 miles west northwest of Anchorage features 1.2 million acres of rugged country terrain crisscrossed with ski runs that top out at 7,500 feet. It's a jaw-dropping spectacle, and a reminder of how much of the rugged landscape of the last frontier remains untouched. Come here for a bracing outdoorsy vacation. Cold plunge into a frozen lake for natural cryotherapy, go ice fishing, or try cross-country snowshoeing. Even better, if the weather conditions hold, you can experience the Aurora Borealis aka the Northern Lights until the middle of April. The blue, green, and purple mirage can extend as far as 400 miles above the Earth's surface. It's caused by the collision between gas particles in the planet's own atmosphere and particles expelled by the Sun. 6. Cunawan. Grenadines. March is great for Hobnobbing with to the world's highest flyers, private jet only, please. The five square mile, croissant shaped island of Cunawan is the Caribbean's ultimate luxury getaway, and makes nearby Mystique look like it's intended for Joe Public. The major lure here is privacy, as tourism focuses on high end, low density visitors, there's little to do other than amble around from beach to beach as the sun shifts. Sundowners at Shenanigans, the outdoor restaurant at the newly built Marina Sandy Lane Yacht Club, are essential, take a dip off the pier at Soho Beach House on Grand Bay. On another day, charter a boat and head to the Tobago Caves, a cluster of islets famed for snorkeling and a plentiful population of turtles. Lunch al fresco at Sparrows on the beach there while also seeking out spots where the original Pirates of the Caribbean movie was shot. Then come back to hike up Mount Royal, Conowin's highest peak. If the weather is clear, you can, literally, look down on Mystique. 7. Osaka. March is great for Blossom peeping it isn't a weather forecast that everyone waits for each year from the Japanese meteorological forecast, it's the prediction for when Sakagura season will take place in each Japanese city. For its floral crystal ball, peak bloom peeping for 2022 will be the last two weeks of March in Osaka. Head to the Osaka Castle grounds for a superb display of more than 4,000 trees, or to the Expo 70 commemorative park to see 5,000 just outside the city. Advertisement Osaka is a startling contrast to Tokyo. Much more relaxed, with an almost feverish obsession with baseball, a shame the Hanshin Tigers aren't a top-tier team, and a disarming friendliness. The food is outstanding. Two, Try the complex inside the Honkyu Yumida Station, a labyrinth of shops and restaurants, including Takom Bunton, one of the oldest in the country serving Odin-style food, or Japanese hot pot. 8. Anguilla. March is great for partying on one of the Caribbean's loveliest beaches much like Kanawa. The crowds are hard to find on Anguilla, with just 15,000 or so citizens living on the 40-square-mile island so it's ideal for privacy and social distancing. There are several superb, huge beaches like Rendezvous Bay and Meads Bay, as well as seven different marine parks that are primed for divers. The El Buen Consejo shipwreck site dates back to 1772. If you do want to party, though, this month's Moonsplash Music Festival is a three-day bash March 18 to 20 on Rendezvous Bay. It's a raucous beach throwdown with a focus on reggae, though John Mayer and Nas have both previously performed. Founded in the 1990s by local musician Banky Banks, 
It's the oldest independent music festival in the Caribbean and emphasizes impromptu jams and audience participation. Ask your hotel to arrange tickets or keep tabs on the festival's Facebook page. 9. Houston. March is great for putting the cause in three course meals from March 25th through April 3rd. Indie Chefs Community ICC is debuting what it calls an anti food festival commune after postponing due to the pandemic last year. The goal for the organizers is to be more equitable and ensure that events like this give back to the community. Houston Heights based ICC founder Grover Smith will bring more than 200 chefs with global reach to the city for 10 days of events in a specially designed experiential dining compound. Expect collaborative tasting dinners, where 12 chefs come together to work on a meal, or late night pop ups spotlighting lesser known cooking traditions, like Palestinian. The full lineup will be released closer to the time, so check here for details as they're made available. 10. Cambodia. March is great for boosting a battered economy and skipping the lines Cambodia has been shuttered to visitors for much of the pandemic, but recently announced it is reopening to international leisure travel. Fully vaccinated visitors can enter quarantine free. As a tourism-dependent economy, almost one-third of its GDP in 2019 derived from travel, it's been badly hit by the global shutdown, and income from visitors is needed more than ever. There are upsides, too. Sites like Angkor Wat and the nearby tourist base of Siem Reap, both of which once lumbered under the burden of overcrowding, will now have returned to more manageable, and enjoyable, visitor levels. To make the most of a visit, a tour operator is definitely the smartest option, especially if pandemic regulations pivot. Try InsideEasia, which runs an 11-night route including those sites as well.